Among the earnings today, we are watching UPS. Those shares higher by 10% this morning. As you can see, the company's earnings and sales beat estimates. That sales increased, by the way, was 12%. And effectively, what we've got going on at UPS is that it's raising prices. Um, at least that's part of what is going on. The company raised, uh, I believe, prices by 11%. Average revenue per piece shift, I should say, rose by more than 11%. Even though average daily shipping volume was down about six tenths of 1% during the holiday season, the biggest part of that decline happening outside of the United States. But all of this means that margins came in ahead of what analysts had been estimating. And that is the strategy that uh, UPS CEO Carol Tomei has really focused on uh, during her tenure, Saz. Julie, today that is not UPS, that is ups, as in sales are up, earnings are up. And I, I tweeted out this this morning. Uh, I've not seen a quarter uh, like this before from UPS, a storied company, industrial giant, pretty much everywhere around the globe. So they came out here really operating margins up in every business segment they do. Also, uh, their outlook for this year, they said they're going to reach some targets that they laid out for 2023, one year ahead of schedule. UPS looking for about $102 billion in sales this year, operating profit margins 13.7%. They weren't supposed to achieve these things until 2023. They are saying today they are a one year ahead of schedule. Uh, and look, Julie, some of the drivers here, obviously uh, a massive ongoing shift to online shopping. They're able to push through a lot of price increases in this environment. Also, too, uh, they just in the in the quarter, uh, Carol Tomei said on the earnings call this morning, uh, they shipped their one billionth COVID-19 vaccine. So this company is a major player, uh, even more so than they were, at least uh, in this economy. Well, we've got an exclusive interview with CEO Carol Tomei next hour, and there is so much to talk to her about, including pricing and the margins and the performance that we've been talking about um, and the on-time performance uh, of the company during the, the fourth quarter and the holiday season is worth mentioning as well. Workforce issues, there's a lot to cover. So make sure you don't miss that interview again coming up in the next hour.